What up everybody, it's your boy Phil here from Gun Galore and today we're going to talk about when to use an AR-15 or a handgun or a shotgun in self-defense slash robbery well, scenarios. No Let's get to the video. Before we get into the video guys, I want you guys to just let me know what you guys expect from me or what you guys want more of me in my videos so I can get more more subscribers and more like a, a bigger fan base. I want to learn and, and go with you guys, but it doesn't work unless I know what you guys want from me and um, I can reciprocate that and want something from you guys. Not necessarily want something for y'all, but to build the community more and more. I'd like to just learn, get to know each other and uh, build the community. Right now, I put out a very specific type of content. Let me know what you guys are feeling that so um, you guys can watch the videos that feel smoother and stuff like that. Um, but with enough of that talk talk, let's get to the video. Okay, first off, before we get to any other details, um, I don't have a shotgun. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and make sure you go share the last video and the video after this. Um, turn the notification bells on so we can always, you know, help each other out. You help me, I help help you out. Bring more content to the uh, videos, to the um, channel. But without further ado, let's just let's start with handguns. Okay. And by the way, I'm not an expert on none of these guns. I'm the shotgun. We're just gonna leave this one right here because I don't I don't want a shotgun. But you know, a lot of people want a shotgun, and it's you feel me. It's a very variety. It's a a weapon that people can get their hands on more easily compared to some of these other guns. Cheaper as well. Okay, so we're gonna start the handgun. So me personally, I pick handgun as like the main weapon as home defense in a um in an I have an apartment. So an apartment style or like a small home, maybe like a one bedroom home. Um I say this because of the reason as you know, you got your noise. Um you don't want your eardrums being blown out and you got the um easy to use compared um to shotgun and ar-15 with family members so even though like if somebody break in you may know how to handle the gun in that situation but your family members may not so it's a little bit more easier to use a handgun it's for to me you know other people might say ar is a little easier but to me it's a little easier you know um my um wife to be um my wife to use a handgun sorry it's just it's hard saying that now because i just got married but it's hard for me and it's easier for me and my wife to use handguns um rather than just me knowing how to use an ar-15 um in that situation so easy to use um within the family um my second reason for handguns um would be um it's easier to put a light attachment on it and it's easier to control like you once you realize it's one mag um you could catch have another one on the side. If you don't have a 45, you have up to 20 bullets maybe in a standard Glock if you have an extended mag and they can take you a long way. So where all the information scenarios where this would be helpful is like like I said, if you're in an apartment or a one bedroom home and um, one or two people run in, right? One or two people run in, you hear it, it's close, it's closed in walls. Um, my uh, furniture, the way my furniture is laid out, there's only a certain couple places people can be. Um, it's one, really one, I'm not gonna describe my apartment, but it's one long hallway basically that connect all the rooms. So I can look down that hall hallway and see all the rooms. So with that, um, I don't need an AR-15 because if I'm going to be checking rooms, I don't need to be trying to move my gun out the way. You see what I'm saying? And, and go around like this. This is where, to me, the handgun would be best because I can walk around like this, compressed, ready. Um, anything I see, raise up, boom, raise up here, raise up there, you know. And then light, I have the light and I have the laser on it. It's all compact, it's all here. And when the threat is neutralized, I can just, you know, not set it down, but make sure the threat is clear without having to swing this big old, you know what I'm saying? Plus, if my wife is on my side, either one of my sides or she's in the back waiting for me to come back, she can have her gun back there as well, just waiting on whoever comes back in here. Um, if it's not me that, um, obviously she would then, you know, take care of the threat. So basically to me, these are for close quarter areas, um, handguns, close quarter areas with close, cl cl um, with close quarter areas with small rooms. You know, if you get a, um, I'm about to talk about the shotgun next, but 
basically the bigger the room, the bigger weapon I, I would want to use. This right here is loud, but if you have a, um, you can have a silencer on your um, handgun, but it really it's not that bad, you know, compared to a shotgun or AR-15 in your ear in close quarters. So, um, not number one, but handgun, small quarters and um close encounters that's that's really where the hand especially like a nine millimeter would i do that every video a nine millimeter a nine millimeter would take over and if you really want to be that guy you can carry a 45 but the thing with that is you have less ammo so that's just one thing you need to worry about with that um 20 bullets at least that's what i got in mind um close quarters you can check don't have to bump in the walls won't it's easy to use with your wife children you know teach everybody in the house to at least know how to use a handgun so in the, in the case of emergency they will be able to get that done so next on the shotguns since i don't own a shotgun we're going to speak hypothetically about this um we're going to just move this right here so, so um most shotguns unless you got like a, a sawed off shotgun is around the size of an ar like barrel length wise um, like the whole gun, the whole gun is kind of comparable to a shotgun. So me personally, what I think of a shotgun is a louder AR-15 um, with reasonable, more reasonable um, recoil. So um, a shotgun, I would use. I would use if if you know it's one person breaking in, and if um, you are good with the shotgun, I don't recommend using a shotgun if you have never used a shotgun because. Um, even with me, I'm still struggling with shotguns because I have to remember to click that button on the top and rack it. Now, unless you have like a semi shotgun, then that's different, but not a lot of people have those. They have, you know, the, everybody thinks about that 12 gauge pump. And guys, let me tell you something right now. Don't be, don't be those people that be like, all you got to do is cock the shotgun and people run. No, if you, somebody breaks in your house, be fully prepared to stop that threat. Crazy! With however you see fit. Um, I'm not saying go empty a whole clip on somebody or no, 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 no. Be responsible, but at the same time, it's your life or their life. It's your stuff or, or their life. Like, w w if somebody comes to your house, do you want to think about if they're going to run away real quick? No, 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 no. Okay, back to the subject though. Shotguns. Cock it. Well, you cock it. You got to hold that button. You got to make sure the safety off. Then you hold it. And then another thing, you can't put a lot of attachments on a, a shotgun. Um, I'm gonna put like the Benelli shotgun pistol grip on it, um, the picture right there. But if if you, the minimum you can have is at least a flashlight. But I think the, the most that a shotgun holds is maybe eight bullets, seven, seven um, sh um, shells, I think it said, slugs, seven slugs. So even if you do manage to um, get a shot off, you have to remember pumping it, dealing with the recoil so um for shotguns this is a shorter section but for shotguns i'm gonna have to say close quarters but wider rooms so if you feel regardless of what regardless of any one of these weapons your ears are gonna ring but with a shotgun you don't want something like the room i'm in right now is like a maybe like a 12 a 10 by 7 room so if if I'm in this room shooting a shotgun, it's gonna bounce right off the walls and hit me back in my ears and I just don't want that. So I would do like, if I'm right here and you're in the living room right there, maybe something like that if it's further. Um, shotgun, that's what I would use that for. Or if like you have a, a bigger house, a two story house, um, but the living room's wider. Or you know like when you walk in a mansion and like, it's like a big ass 50 by 50 room. Like, okay, yeah, those are more reasonable because the sound is not gonna bounce off a, a wall two foot away and come back and hit you in your ear. No, you don't want that. You're gonna be incapacitated after the first blast. Then you're gonna be you're gonna be blinded by the light. Your ears gonna be ringing. Then you're gonna have to remember to pump if that dude's not dead. If the dude's not, if the threat's not eliminated, let's say that. And then you have to keep going. Now, if it's this, the, another problem with the shotgun, it has seven slugs. So if it's more than one person, that's why I said earlier, if you know it's one person, then okay, but if it's more than one person, you probably want to just use something else because of the simple fact that you, it, you don't want to rely on just seven shells, slugs, like this, you know, don't get me wrong, it's nine mil, but you got hollows in it, so a couple, uh, one or two would do the trick, but shotgun, one one slug, of course, if you got buckshot to do the trick, but at the same time, you got to hit the shot, like, and then what robbers is going to be like this, shoot me. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta like the more ammo you have, 
the better. Plus the reload time. Shotguns, most people can't reload a shotgun faster than they can reload a handgun. I don't think anybody can, so. So back to what I said, handgun, you want close quarters, small rooms, you know, shotguns, close quarters, medium rooms, medium sized rooms, just to, all these things to help with your ears, your seeing ability, you know, flashlight, um, ammo size, and dealing with family members, um, being able to control the weapon as well. So those are the, the, the criteria I'm going off of for this video. So family, family holding it, ammo size, um, hearing protection, and like attachment, something, something, you know, something like that. Those are the four criteria really I'm working with. So enough of shotgun, on to the AR-15. So for the AR-15, I'm gonna have to go with strictly, strictly two to three bedroom homes or bigger or larger, but you need a lot of space. Like, like no apartments and no one bedroom homes with seven different neighbors on either side. No, because the things about AR-15, they're gonna go through almost anything you shoot. Like, if I can aim this this way, it's gonna go through my wall, the neighbor's wall, that neighbor's wall, almost probably out that, you see what I'm saying? Shoot this way, same thing. So, um, the thing about AR-15, which you wanna be careful because, um, again, it's your life, but at the end of the day, every single one of these little metal casings that, you, that come out of your gun, whatever it, wherever it lands or hits, you're still responsible for it, even if it was on accident or something. You, you don't wanna live with that. So, AR-15, I'm gonna say bigger homes, much wider homes, and for, now, I will say this, if you have like an apartment, you can't necessarily see the ins and outs of it, you know, but like a home, you may be able to. So if you have a one or two bedroom home and you security cameras can see four or five people about to come in, uh, you probably need to pick this up. Um, a shotgun is not going to help you in that situation unless you're a real not, you know, with Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington said, you know, I get surgical with this bitch, Jake. I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. Like, you feel me? Unless you like that with it. If you can do something, like, if you crazy like that. But a handgun, I would advise as well, four or five. But the thing is, you may run out of ammo quicker than um, them. For instance, um, 20 bullets, you have at least 30 in this one. Um, um, and like I said, most, I didn't say this before, but most necessarily robbers, once they get in the shooter, they probably gonna leave. But like, do I wanna risk that chance of them leaving or or me handling a situation like a man, or like not even a man, just as a parent or guardian or as a husband. Um, do I want to take that chance of, oh, they, I think they're leaving. Nah, nah, I, I got enough of this. No, I'm going to bring out whatever I think is enough to provide for my family. Um, and in America, the bigger the better for, you know, guns. But I, I really don't advise it regarding like smaller areas because for one, you shoot it inside, your ears are gonna be ringing for at least a week and a half. You don't wanna do that now, unless you get, um, I think, muzzle brake or, or flash hider. I, I don't necessarily know which ones are best for to bring down the um, explosive power behind this um, for your ears. But a, of course, a silencer can um, is great indoors. If you got, have silencer for any of these guns, which, I mean, you, I mean, you gotta go through the, um, NFA, I think, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, NFA or all those other alphabet boys to just get a silencer, get a patent, patent not a patent, but a, um, a tax stamp on it. But the thing is, when you pull this out, you want to be either heard by other people to let people, other people know to call the police and help you out or to silence it so you can tolerate it more, you know, it's okay if other people hear it if you're not putting them in danger but then at the same time if you can't control this because of the fact that you know your ears are ringing then it's no good to you another reason um women children um i've seen very various amount of videos of them handling this very well it's not that hard to um handle it's actually i think it's actually maybe easier than the handgun on some parts um the only thing i would would advise you train your families is the safety on the um, AR-15. Most AR-15s have them, if not all. Handguns, 
Glock doesn't have um, safeties beside the trigger, so other than that, um, they're okay. So if you're used to, if they're used to Glocks and they don't realize like take this safety off or it's just going click, you see what I'm saying? Then um, then that's going to be a problem. Like that's going to be something you're already panicking because you somebody broke in and and if I'm out there fighting, you probably wouldn't be help me out. So it's like oh, let me. You know, so the controllers are easy. Take this one out. I, I'm gonna have a video on how to shoot a rifle coming out real soon after this video. Um, but right now, it's just kind of explaining what it is. You drop the mag right here, put another one in, and 30 rounds in there. So you don't have to, you know, we keep, I keep more than one round, one magazine um, loaded in here. This is for, you know, I, I don't plan on using this, but just, you know, just in case you never know. And then, the um, of course, the Sig Sawyer red dot. Got it zeroed in to about, probably about 40 yards. I got it zeroed in, 40, 50 yards. Um, and that's very easy to see with the dark. In the dark, um, I'm teaching her how to turn up the, the brightness so when it's darker, you can see it. But when it's lighter, you, I mean, when it's lighter, when it's darker, you turn it down a little bit. But when it's lighter, you turn it up a little bit because you don't want to look at your red dot and just see a red laser and that's all you see. You don't see the person or the threat. Um, also on the AR-15, I don't have one on mine yet, but a, a flashlight with, um, I'm getting push, sensor on, push sensors on mine. So for instance, uh, like this, my Glock TLR 8A, um, press this button on the side and it comes on. Okay, fairly easy, but this, um, it'd be harder to, with my left hand to turn it on or, or click the button with my thumb. So I would want sensors up top to turn the um, flashlight on. I don't need an IR laser yet because I'm, or at all really, because I'm not running night vision or not. So um, realistically, I just, I want rail panels of course to, to help with the heat. Um, and then basically a flashlight with a, with a push sensor on it. That's all I need really. And then I'll be squared away. Um, a sign sure will help, but then you're dealing with a 20 inch barrel and they, it's picking up speed. So it's gonna go further. So I wouldn't recommend AR-15 or shotguns really in a home defense situation unless you're in a house that's of a bigger size or it's more people coming. Um, shotgun, no, if it's more than one person or if you really in that desperate need, do not use it. Pick either one of these over a shotgun, I believe. To me, like don't get me wrong, you hit somebody with a shotgun, even if it's bird shot, they will go down. But are you ready to risk hitting them one out of seven times? Like if you do the math on one, one divided by seven or one divided by 20 and one divided by 30, you know, five, five, six, it got knockdown power. I mean, I put a grown man on his ass, but two wheel, two from hollow tips and a uh, handgun wheel, if you know how to aim right. Like I just want people to understand just cause it's nine millimeter or five, five, six doesn't mean um, they can't knock somebody down. Like if we're being honest here, they're gonna get, the average guy is gonna get knocked down. And then it comes to deal with the type of ammo you put in your uh, weapon as well. So overall, I think a little, a little, little, uh, what, ADHD, not ADD, ADD kicking in, ODD, obsessive, fucking, I don't know. But AR-15 handgun shotgun, all the ways that you should use them in different scenarios, long range. If you're on a farm or you know in a wilderness, you got them. Um, animals, you need help. Pigs, wolves, hunting. I want to go hunting one day. Hopefully, it comes to the channel soon. Rock more than one robber, bigger house, handgun, smaller house, apartment. Um, maybe one or two people robbers. You know, even three maybe. Close quarters, small quarters. It'll do just fine. You don't gotta worry about running into nothing. Like the AR-15, I wouldn't want to run into the walls or nothing with that. So. Um, Shotgun, shotgun as well. You don't want to run into the walls with that. So you want to do shotgun smaller area, but not as not as small not as small as a handgun, but not as large as AR-15. Because then again, shotgun doesn't have a long range compared to AR-15 or even the handgun. So you will want to be able to actually hit your target because most people aren't very accurate with your shotguns regardless. But anyway. These are really all the scenarios that I feel like, me personally, you should use each of these weapons. Mind you, the shotgun is just going to serve your all. It's probably serve your all video. These are all the ways that all three of these different type of weapons should be used in a robbery or self-defense situation because um, 
it's all educational guys this channel educational and entertainment and i hate for you guys to be watching my channel and think yeah ar-15 is appropriate for self-defense in all scenarios don't get me wrong if this is by the bed and this is in the bathroom because you left it in there or in the closet because you left it in there and somebody breaking in grab this grab it like i i i'm telling you right now grab it because you you can deal with consequences if you're still alive you can't if you you had if you had ceased to exist because you were worried about your neighbors i mean you have to worry about you and yours first then it's like oh shit. make sure everybody else is good but if you had the time and the sense and the thought pattern to just click like or just set your your um set your daily nightstand up to have like handgun ar-15 shotgun in that order on the side of the bed so when you get up the first thing you can grab is the handgun if it's something more boom ar-15 if it's something more bam shotgun so these are just quick little scenarios where you should be able to um you know take the process that everybody has their own everybody knows what type of house they got um it shouldn't really take that much thought process to think about this stuff but these are just a few key rules and ideas that i kind of go by as far as um what exactly I would need to do if somebody rock came in and take my stuff or try to hurt me or my wife. So thank you guys for um, watching the video. Um, I know this was probably a little bit longer, but it was a good video because I feel like I brought, gave you guys something and hopefully in the comments you give me something. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Our channel's doing real good right now. I'm at 115 subscribers. At the moment I'm talking about right now, I'm shooting this video actually like two in the morning. But, um, I, I, I really look forward to growing with you guys. You guys see it's not a lot of cussing here. I'll be stuttering and stuff, but I don't got to look impressive for nobody. So, once again, shotgun AR-15. Hey, do y'all business. Do y'all work. It's America, you know what I'm saying? We got access to a lot of stuff. Check your laws. Um, but without further ado, I have to catch y'all in the next one. Go check out the handgun video I just made, how to shoot a handgun. I'll put that um, right there in the link in the descri description. Uh, look forward to my Air 15, how to shoot that one. And without further ado, see y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace, man.